Well, good uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to start doing some 3D, some three-dimensional trigonometry. This is part one. And I made a sketch here, I hope you can see it properly, of a cube with length 5 cm. And the property of a cube is that all the lengths are the same. I don't forget that. So all sides are 5 cm. And we have to calculate EG, yeah, so the length of E, 2 point G. We have to calculate AG and we have to find angle EGA. All right. Now, um, let's have a go with the first question. So EG, I'm going to do that on a separate piece of paper. Um, there we go. So EG, if I would put that in my cube, that is the length of this line. Now, how can we calculate that? Well, have a look now at this part, or let me draw the whole base on my separate piece of paper. So I'm going to take it away. And I'm going to draw here now the base, and I'm going to put the letters H, G, E, F, yeah? So H, G, E, F, okay? And the question is, what is the length of E, G? The length of E, G, yeah? So I'm going to put X there, and H, G is 5, and because it's a cube, H, E is also 5. And if you draw it like this, hopefully you see now that you have a right angle triangle here, yeah, and the question is the length of the hypotenuse. And to find lengths in right angle triangles, we have one of our better friends, Mr. Pythagoras, who said that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c is the hypotenuse, yeah, I've explained this before, so I'm going relatively quickly now. 5 squared plus 5 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. We don't need the calculator for this yet, eh? We're having some fun. You might as well have some fun while you're doing this. So x equals, don't forget, it should be the square root of 50. Yeah, now x is the longest side of my triangle, the hypotenuse, 5, 5. So I'd say it should be like 6 or 7 something. Eh? So that would make sense to me. I'm getting my calculator now. Square root of 50 equals, and that corrects with three significant figures because it's a length and it's not an exact answer, 7.07 centimeters. Now that makes sense. Uh, like I just said, uh, that is in proportion if you look at the triangle. Yeah, so that's the length of EG. Good, back to the question. I'm back to my cube. Uh, I found EG, now I'm gonna find AG. Now let me draw AG for you. I'll do, I'll do some pink. Yeah, because I'm sure some of our viewers love pink as well. AG, look, that's like the diagonal going through that cube, isn't it? All right, and again, I've got to find a plane in the cube where AG is part of. Now, have a look at this one. If I take that entire cut like that, you see that? So basically, I'm having the cube and I'm cutting it like that. Now I'm going to draw on a separate piece of paper that plane. Let me, let me continue with pink so you see the relationship. So that is uh, not a square. Huh? We're just going to put the letters there. A, C, and that's E, G. And the question is the length of E, G. So let me put the diagonal there and I'll put an X. And what do I know? Well, I know A, E. What is the length of A, E? That is 5. And what is the length of EG? Oh, hang on a minute. I just found the length of EG. Yeah, because there's a reason why they ask you to find EG. And I'm not going to do 7.07 .07 because I rounded that answer. I'm going to say, well, EG is the square root of 50. Yeah, so I don't want to write down all those decimals now. But I'm not going to say 7.07 .07 because that's going to affect my final answer. Yeah, because that's rounded. So the square, square root of 50 for EG. And then to find X. I uh, won't continue in pink because I'm going to need some sunglasses in a minute. Uh, but then to find X, we realize, oh hang on a minute, that is again a right angle triangle. Yeah. So A squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse squared. X is still the hypotenuse. 5 squared plus the square root of 50 squared. That looks very messy, but the square root of 50 squared is indeed 50. 25 equals x squared. Add them, I'm going relatively quick, yeah, but I hope you can follow me. Square root of 75, 
Okay, now I get my calculator. Um, what should we do? Square root of 75. And that correct to three significant figures. 8.66 centimeters, eh? because we were talking about centimeters. There you go. All right. Yeah, so you are looking for that plane, the plane in your three dimensional cube where that diagonal AG lies in. Yeah, it's part of. Okay, then they ask me for the angle EGA. Let me see, EGA. So we're looking at this angle. Well, hang on a minute, if I just get that sketch back, EGA, EGA. So we're looking for this angle. Now, although I don't mind pink, I don't really like the sketch I made. You won't be able to see this. I'm gonna do it in red, the sketch. Yeah, so I'm just gonna copy the sketch I just made. Yeah. Uh, a, E, C, G, and now they're looking for this angle. Now that's the question. That is E, G, A, E, G, A. And we said this is the square root of 50, and we say that is five. Okay, so actually 3D trigonometry, you are trying to translate it into a two dimensional question, because in your angle, let's call it theta, I write down toa ka so. All right, so I'm in my angle. Which two sides do I know? It's the opposite and the adjacent. So indeed, the tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, and then to find the angle, I have to do the inverse function. Yeah, so shift 10, and I'm going again. A little bit quick because I've done this so many times now with you. 5 divided by the square root of 50, make sure you're able to use your calculator. Yeah, and I'm doing shift 10 of that answer equals, and angles we give correct to one decimal place, 35.3 degrees. Okay, so translate 3D trigonometry questions into 2D questions eh, by deciding upon a plane. Yeah of the cube in which your question is taking place. Okay, I have more example questions on 3D trigonometry. I hope to see you there.